What's going on everybody? I'm Rosa and uh, this is my first talking to the camera video. So yeah, if I keep looking up at myself, I can't help it. It's okay as well. Um, so I forgot to do an intro for this video. So this is a future me coming to you with an intro. Um, basically, I found this really nice, really old looking, um, a side cabinet and I just thought you know what I have nothing to do so I might as well get this give it some really good TLC and that's what I did it is um, like it's a really old Ikea um, it needed a lot of work done to it so I thought why not film it for everyone uh, so they can see how bad I am at DIY <laughs> um, it's a bit of a sneak peek of it it's behind me um, but yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy this video and uh, I can't stop talking with my hands, so let's go. <sighs> okay, so first things first, I'm going to take the doors off, so let's do that. to do is to do the templates for the cupboard doors. Everything's all for them. Handles, screws, everything. Um, they do need a sand though. But we'll do that later. So I'm going to use paper to make a template uh, which I shall do now. I can't stop looking at myself. <laughs> Okay, so I have my template here, and this is the wood, but we've got to make sure that we leave some room for these holes, and that one's going to be at fault, but obviously the handle in a later date. So I'm just going to I'm just going to measure here to see how far in, and then I'll take it in along the whole thing and cut this smaller. Okay, so I managed to take this in. I took it in by three centimeters on all the sides so that there's a nice thick base. And then this middle part will be where we put the rattan. Rattan? Rattan? Whatever it is. Um, so all I need to do now is curve this edge on this side um, and then make the template. I might fold it in half or I might just 
yeah and then freehand it we'll do that and then we'll see how it comes out but yeah uh, if you do this whoever is watching this um, you if you have like wrapping paper or just a big sheet or even like I don't know newspaper that'd be really good but I had to just stick some pieces together or I might do it on that side actually there's less tape okay because I might need them for something else but what I'm gonna use is just some decorators cork uh, I mean I wanted to get something smaller but this is the smallest thing I mean maybe there's something else but I mean it's not too expensive so we're gonna fill the holes um, that way you can sand over them and they're smooth because I really want to get some nice long gold handles they'll be really tasty so let's do it So today I'm going to be today we're gonna to be taking off the legs hopefully today first I'm gonna like disassemble it um, I think it was I think it's a really 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 old IKEA so it shouldn't be too hard hopefully though when I take it apart it doesn't completely like fall apart <laughs> and all of this would have been for nothing so yeah it's currently down on its face I'll show you in a second um, and I'm just gonna have to take apart, take apart the backboards. They, I think they must have hammered on some like cheap bits of MDF on the back, um, which were falling off anyway. So we're gonna take those off. We're gonna take off the legs because, well, the legs, the, the sides of the thing. Um, so we're gonna do that now.
So this hole right here was kind of broken as the door was coming off. So what we're gonna do is get some super glue, put it in there, squish this all down, and then screw this back in, and it should hold itself together. Okay, so the next thing is going to be to put this all back together. Uh, so I just got back from B and Q. Went to get the paints. I know at the start of this video, I said I was going to um, do cutouts in the doors in the D shape and fill that with uh, rattan. But I've changed my mind. Um, I saw a picture of one that was really nice and a lot more modern. Um, so I thought I would change it. And I've got these really really cool handles coming that I think will just go with it really nicely. So the first paint I got for the outside is this Madeira Silk from, um, uh, where did I go? Where did I go? I just said it. b and that's it, b and um, It's walls and ceilings, but paint's paint. You can use, I'm pretty sure you can use on anything. Uh, and if I need to, then I'll just seal it with something. Uh, so yeah, it's Madeira Silk. It's just a really nice kind of off-white color. Um, just, soft and I don't want it stark white because the inside the doors and the inside of it is going to be black I know it's kind of like I don't know a bit daring I suppose um, but I think it'll look really nice and I'm going to paint the legs that are coming um, the Madeira as well so that everything else will be the Madeira color and it'll be black on the inside so it's just this satin black so it'll be slightly different the outside will be silk and the inside will be satin so it's not too everything silky you know so yeah we'll uh we'll get to painting maybe tomorrow <laughs> i'm not sure if i can do it today um but the first thing that we have to do today is put the back of the cabinet on i got some um uh really thin wood i can't remember what the name of the wood's called um what is that wood called I'm so forgetful today, but um, really thin, um, cut it to size, and I just nailed it to the back. It looks, it'll look so much better um, because what was in there was just horrible. And the way the nails were in before, it was like someone did it with a blindfold on. I honestly don't know how someone can nail so many nails in, like bent. <laughs> anyway, so let's do that now. Okay, just put in the new back. It looks so much better already. So much better than these, like this is what was in there beforehand. And it's just, I don't even know why they painted it that weird blue color. But there we go. Ready for painting. And this is the back. Okay, so it's been a couple days and this is what it looks like. 
the color is really really nice i don't know why it's coming out gray on the camera but it's more of a sandy kind of tone the legs finally came in these are the legs that i ordered uh they're angled sort of long pillar legs um this is what it looks like underneath and i love these legs they're so nice um they really go with the 70s with sort of mid-century modern look that i really wanted for this cabinet and yeah they came in white and i just had to paint them so yeah and they're holding up the cabinet pretty well okay so it's been a couple days and the whole cabinet is painted the only thing i have left to do is uh seal it because it's a little bit rough so um, I want it to have a really nice smooth finish and then that way it'll last longer. Uh, but for now we're going to be using the black to paint the doors. The doors are ready to go. Here they are. Um, and yeah, almost finished. This is almost finished. This is definitely going to take a couple of coats, maybe four even. It's very light, but little layers, that's the trick, little layers. So the handles finally came in, this is what they look like. They're really nice, uh, like a goldish, um, kind of bronzish sort of colour. Really, really like them. Uh, they're a really good size for the cupboard. So you can see there, all we got to do now is put them on. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad Well, if you made it to the end, I love you so much. Um, thank you for watching. Bye! Mm -hmm.